So as I was saying, uh, there's a number of different cams here, and what they do, I don't know if I'm trying to get it in focus for you, what these sort of cutout um, recesses do is they actually run off a lug at the back there. Um, so position is important, so that set screw has to go into, into the gap, and um, that lug there has to run in the in the other gaps. So take note of, of everything in there, and but you can take this apart and actually why this is important if we get this back in all right I don't want to sit anywhere if I just pop this back in why this is important is you can now manually manipulate the valve so now what I can do is I can if you can see that, I can turn the valve. Okay, I can turn it back and forth, and I can turn it back and forth with um, uh, my throttle body cleaner, and that actually cleans that coking off that was causing it to um, uh, bind. Because that has to be completely free. And it actually took me about five minutes of just working that back and forth, cleaning it back and forth, back and forth, before that became completely free before I would turn it a little bit and it would stop halfway and that's what was causing my idle problem I presume um, but throttle body cleaner in and of itself wasn't enough um, uh, to sort of get that working again I had to actually take this extra bit apart I'll also point out there's obviously another spring involved here um, but what I can, you can actually do is you can turn the lug itself and you can flick it all the way around, it's in the six, 6 o'clock position, I'll flick it up okay, now it's in the I don't know if you can see there, but it's in the sort of 10 o'clock position and that actually, as I flick that around, that gives me access to the whole of this valve so the whole of the valve swings past as you flick that around so I actually had to work it back and forth with that, and I found there's some gunge on the on the on the on the side of the valve that doesn't even, you know, um, uh, flicking this back and forth uh, with the, with the other bit in, I couldn't even get to that. So that was important. Um, a few other things. So I'll put all this back together, and I'll put it back on the throttle body. Uh, clean the throttle body down anyway. I've got it off. I've already cleaned it. Um, but I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get the compressed, compressor onto that, um, clean out all that, and then I'll get it back together. A, f a few more things. I'll, I'll show you, just show you the um, the various uh, specs you're looking for for the idle air controller, um, electrical tests. So you can see there, there's the resistance test. Here's your pins using the screws at the top as reference. Um, very easy to do to check that both the electrical side is working and then also the valve side is working. It was only when I checked the valve side that I saw it was binding. Um, but a few other things here. Very quickly, to uh, get to this you have to take your uh, intake air connector off. So if you're having a look at this engine here, this usually sits uh, in here. It's obviously, oh, the other way around, that way around. Um, um, so that sits in there, the throttle body's on the on the right there, and your intake manifold, um, and there's your yeah, air box, air connector. So uh, this here, to get this off, was a pain in the ass. Um, it sits in there, as I said. I'll just quickly show you, there's a bracket there, obviously it sits on. And there's two bolts underneath, in, actually into the block. Uh, you can see there. Right up underneath that bracket, there's some bolts into the block. Um, again, aluminium block, uh, never been taken off before. I had, had to actually borrow a six point um, uh, socket set from a friend with a big breaker bar to get that off. And I, I was, you know, penetrating oil, etc. I didn't manage to um, uh, break the bolts, which was very good. Um, subsequent to that, I actually found, um, and you know, like. To get this off, even I, I tried to get multi grips in there, etc., etc. Um, subsequent to that, I don't know if you can see on that bracket, 
you can't see in there but there's actually two bolts on the bottom and they're on, on little rubber uh, sort of uh, uh, vibration bobbins and in the process of, of, of ripping this out to try and get to that stuck bolt I managed to uh, rip one of those bobbins off so I'm going to have to glue that back on uh, which is a bit of a pain in the ass um, but yeah so in future I, I know that there's just the two nuts there so you can just undo the nuts and you don't have to do the bolts um, and that's about it so I'll put all this back together and hopefully my idle is back to normal <laughs>